Hello and welcome to AC Milan, Beach in the Best, Episode 9. And today we'll be doing December and January of 2020 and 2021, respectively. Year of Verona, the Ghent match we're not going to be playing, we're going to be simming because we've already threw in that competition to the next round. We're going to put the weakest side possible out, as I did with the previous game, where we simulated against LASK, and we did manage to win that match. The Brescia match, which will be the second match, Sassuolo, the third. And we've got a pretty static January, I don't think we've got any money to make any transfers, but... A lot of games have come up. We've got Roma, Empoli, a game in the Cup, and straight after Inter Milan, Parma, and Sampdoria. And if we get through in the Cup, we may even have another Cup game on the 27th there. Do we have some youth reports in? We do! All absolutely wank! Boz in France, what have you... Stop bringing me up players that don't have shoulders. Vols has one player, Sebastian Castel, 14 year old with a potential of 66 to 94. Hopefully he's good. Francesco Giordano in Slovakia. Pulled his finger out here. A 17 year old with a potential of 63 to 91. Not really expecting a lot from that one, but the other two are looking even spicy. There's Miran Benko, potential of 66 to 94. He's a 16 year old player on the left by the looks of things. And there's also. Lozje Benko, potentially 66 and 94, is a 17 year old who looks like he plays in the midfield somewhere. Every single one of those players wasn't good enough. Why? So, at the start of this episode, we are currently sitting in fifth position, in quite a competitive spot. Although fifth is a Europa League spot, you know, we are far from out of any sort of race. We are only three points off second place, we're only one point off third place, and the same amount of points as both fourth and sixth. That being said, there's teams on our tail as well. We're only three points from seventh, four points from Inter in eighth. Our next three games, Kiev of Verona, who is in 18th, Brescia, who are in 15th, and Sassuolo in 13th. Now, Sassuolo versus a mid table position, they're not bad. But all three of those should be completely easy wins for a team like us. So, Odson Edwards performing pretty well, really, hasn't he? He's better in the Europa League, as we know, but decent tally for him. I think we're going to start Edward in behind us last time for today. Welcome today to this Serie A fixture at the Stadio Marcantonio Bentegodi in Verona. Cave of Verona lineup like this, Sempit in the goal across a 4 3 1 2 with Brivio, Barba, Bizenen, and Tomovic in the defence, Obi, Aguado, and Gacciarini in the midfield. On Gende, just in front of them, and the main two strikers today, Puccioli and Megherini. Lining up across from them today, AC Milan in the 3 6 1 with Gianluigi Donnarumma in the net. Roman Nolik, Silva, and Luis Felipe in the defence, and just in front of them is Sandro Tonali in the holding midfield role. Four across the main midfield line, Cucurella, Paqueta, Kessier, Depay, Edouard. Just in behind the main strikers today, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Strong squad here to make sure. Bring home the points in the league, I think. Kievo to kick off. And we're away here. In Verona. Played out wide to the pike. Can he keep it in? He can. Gets it in. He... Oh! A whipped in cross there. It's gone out to Kessie on the edge of the box. He was attempting to take a shot. Decided not to. To Tenali at the edge. Takes it in. Past the defenders. To the line. Plays it across the box. And Brivio just gets a foot in before it can get to Lucas Picator. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. That was not where that was intended to go. Hervin. Tonali gets there. Beautiful challenge from Sandro there. Memphis has it in the attack now. Odds on Edward. Turns on it. Plays through to Zlatan. Back to Edward. Oh, he's just about managed to get it through. Edward scored. Wonderful play in the end. I'm not sure how Zlatan managed to get that pass through to Edward there, but wonderful from the big Swede. And I just almost thought Edward did well to, well to take that. It seems like the referee's called for half-time. We're going at 1-0 to AC Milan. It could have been more. Kessier. Takes it forward, looking towards Odson Edward. Back to Kessier. Back to Edward. And Zlatan's in the middle. 2-0. Good night, Vienna. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with his 11th goal in the league. Might be slowing, but his goal scoring isn't. Found Ibra. Depay. Back to Ibra. Looking to Depay again. Takes it forward. He's in the box here. Tries to play it across. He's taken down in the box. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. 
like uh, Memphis might have been looking for that and it might be sending off here if he's unlucky he is Barba is off for Chievo I'm going to keep it with Zlatan I was thinking about giving it to Memphis because he won it but I want Zlatan to get the goals and he is our designated taker Keeper didn't move. It wasn't a very good penalty in the end. It was quite slow moving and not quite in the corner as I liked it. But it's 3-0 and Zlatan's got his second so he can't complain. 12th goal in the league. <laughs> no one's complaining about that. Kessier looking towards Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's not going to score a breakaway is he? No he's not. He's going to pass it to Edward. Very unselfish. Let's get Edward a second on the score sheet. It's 4-0. Zlatan very unselfish. I mean, can't really make these runs these days anyway. So, good decision. 4-0. 2 for Edward, 2 for Zlatan. Luis Felipe looking towards Memphis, I think. Oh, he's found him as well. Memphis, come on, you've got to find Zlatan with this. Lost him. Oh, Antje Rebic. Oh, Zlatan. Oh, Zlatan should have run onto that. Bad ball across, really. Come on, referee, call. It's over. We won 4 0 away at Verona. It's a good day for Milan. Referee ended it. There we are. He's finally ended it. Easy victory in the end. And the final score 4 0 to AC Milan. Oh, no. Why did... Why did he have... Oh, no. Okay. Right, that's that's bad. That's bad. Why do you have a release clause, man? Theo Hernandez has got a 45.6 million euro release clause that I didn't know about on PSG. I've just paid it. No, 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 no. That's, I didn't want to see that. He's a great player. I mean, he is a bit more of a rotation player these days, but he's a player that I can trust to do a job, and he was so good last season, we might be about to lose him. Theo, please, keep on us books. I, I love you, buddy. If you take any, do any of these players have release clauses? Nobody else has a release clause. I don't want to lose Theo Hernandez, but we might be about to, because there's nothing else I can do about that. They're paying his release clause. Right, I've put a, uh, a bit of a rotated side out for the Ghent match. We might lose, but I don't really mind. Oh, oh, ah. Oh. They went 2 0 up and then we got to 2 1. I thought it would equalise, but no, we've lost 2 1. It doesn't matter. We're still top of the group. I think we just got 5 million there. The previous win hasn't moved us anywhere in the table, but Torino have played a game. We've got a game in hand of them that if we win, we'll go above them into a Champions League spot. And depending on what Roma and Napoli do, um, Lazio and Napoli play each other so Napoli could lose points we couldn't go up to third place here if you look on the top scorers list Zlatan is on top one goal ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo which is a very good news welcome to this San Siro for this Serie A game it's AC Milan versus Brescia Milan today Gianluigi Donnarumma in the net across the back three Roman Nolly Silva and Luis Felipe Tonali just in front of that line and the main midfielders today are Cucurella Paqueta Kessier and Depay with Edouard just in front of them in the attacking midfield role Main striker, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Brescia today, Joran in the goals. And across the back four, we have Motella, Larson, Chantal, and Andrea Conti, who was originally from Milan. Basic, Iniestra, and Thorobsby in the midfield. Tremolada in the attacking midfield role. And the two strikers today, Balotelli and Donnarumma. Alfredo. We're going to call him Alfredo Donnarumma. We'll just Alfredo. Ibra kicks us off at the San Siro. We're underway. Sandro Tonali. Well, I'm playing it around slowly for now. Edward. Ooh, strange ball. That could have advanced into an attack. Ooh, Zlatan takes it around the man. He shoots, he scores. Man didn't look like they knew what they were doing there, but within four minutes they're ahead, so you can't really question it. Zlatan, that man, the one that does it. Conti on the right wing. Plays it in. Nod it on, please. Ooh, Luis Felipe wanted to head that body. Oh, Donna Rumor, what was that, son? Well, that's gone out for a corner now, and there was no need for it, Gian Luigi. You'd have touched it like a normal boy. Um, that's dangerous, that's dangerous. It's gone over, it's fine. Iniestra. Ooh, ball cut us right up in there. Balotelli. Oh, dear me. Ooh, Alfredo oh, Rumors denied, and Bassett should have scored. Should be 1 all. Ibra, looking for Edward. Trying to knock it past his man. Defender is there, and slides it beautifully into the path of his teammate. Pressure. Take away the pressure for now. Balotelli. Tremolada. Putting the pressure on of their own. Out wide with Alfredo Donnarumma. Can he play ball into Balotelli? 
not quite, but he plays through the Thor's bit. Rocky Carrillo beaten and it's one all. Edward, Zlatan, back to Edward, looking towards Kessier. Oh, maybe it should have been a goal. Keeping it well, though. Vatelli. Made it long for Alfredo Donnarumma and he's found him. This was dangerous last time they tried it. Donnarumma. Oh, it's dangerous again. Thor's Donnarumma. Body. Milan a 2 1 down. The same move, or a very similar one. Tears us apart twice. Thor's been getting both goals. I believe Alfredo Donnarumma getting both assists. Cucurella. Throw to Piquetta. Tonali. Kessier. Tonali. Ibra. Turn on it, buddy. It's got to be a goal. It's got to be a goal. It is. It's 2 all. We shouldn't be in this situation, but he's managed to equalise it. Who else but Zlatan? The bamboos a bit here. The passing's too much for me. Tremolada. Kessier gets a challenge in, but just gets it right past him. <sighs> Not to Thornsbury. <laughs> Anyone but him. Last time bringing it down. It's going to be half time. 2 all. Perhaps shouldn't be. Good. Tough defending there, and referee's not giving that as a, an advantage at all. Why don't do anything half as aggressive that gets called? Bassett trying to play the ball over to Mario Balotelli. Oh, he's done it as well. The bounce absolutely flummoxed me. And that's three goals to them. Jesus. It's the bounce that got me. I thought I'd gotten that ball. You see, I, I dived in there because I thought it had a curve on it, but it was just a bounce. Oh, dear me. We should be winning this. Again, they're going in so hard on Ibra, and just the referee is turning a blind eye to it. Ibra tries to play in like Sal. Bad ball played to the defenders pretty much straight away. Balotelli. Ooh. Ibra. Like Sal. Piquetta. Like Sal again. Trying to play through Piquetta. Go on. Lucas! The one time I wanted to stay on his feet and not go down. There wasn't even a challenge played at England. Why can't we like, ever put teams away when we need to? Oh dear, Balotelli's in, that's onside! It was off, it was off. Don Rumor should have saved that, but... Zaniolo and Hernandez coming on, and our mentality being changed to a bit more aggressive. Frank Yannick Kessier, Depay's free. Come on, Memphis. Please, it's your time to shine. Buddy, please, near post. It's a goal, I think it was far post, it's fine. Can we get the win now? Please let me pick up that ball. Mate. Oh dear, mate. Tonali, well done for putting your body in the way of that ball. Don't trust Don Rumor. Corner ball in, Balotelli to take us. And Roy Hodgson move. Theo. Really? You've got yourself been muscled out of there. It's gone to the back post. Please, Donnarumma. Right. Luis Felipe. Memphis run. Memphis run. Memphis run. Keep running, buddy. Play it long. Come on. It's going to be... Keeper must come for that. Not in his area, though. That oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, no, 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 Please be on. I think he might be on. He's on. Memphis, please. Memphis to buy you the hero. Two goals to take us from 3-2 behind to 4-3 up. What a legend. He just disappeared into the ethereal realm. I thought the ball was played too late. I kept trying to play it and play it and play it. It wouldn't go. But it got to him. It was in wads of space. Absolutely so much space. Was it past the keeper at the far post. It's 4-3. Memphis with two goals. That's what I want to see from him. That's what I want to see. He's not showing much of that. He's only scored his first two goals in the league today. He can just get rid of this. He can just hoof it away. Head it out. Throw in. Please, ref, call it. It's over. We've won 4 3. Oh, Brescia must be absolutely kicking themselves. We are in a Champions League spot, but the goal difference, <laughs> because it was a bit shambolic, it wasn't enough to get anywhere near Torino. Wait, no. We seem to be behind Torino. <laughs> Serie A rules, please. From the 2005-06 season, if two or more teams are tied in points for any place, the deciding tiebreakers are as follows. Head-to-head -head records in results and points first. They beat us 3-1. So that's why Torino are ahead of us. So essentially, next time we play Torino, we need three points from that. And we need to beat them by at least two goals. It's happened... Following the release, close payment of 45.6 million euros from Paris Saint-Germain, Theo Hernandez and his agent have agreed personal terms with them. The deal be finalised Theo Hernandez and will move to Paris as soon as the transfer window opens. God damn it! At least we're getting quite a lot more than his value. We're now on the day of the Sassuolo game, and it looks like Torino's had another bad result. Trina lost to Fiorentina, which is very good news for us, because if we win this game, which 
after the Brescia game is by no means a guarantee. If we win this game, that'll put us on 39 points. We would be one point behind Napoli. Only four points behind Juve would be in third place on our own number of points and there'd be no head-to-heads coming into it. Welcome today to the Mape Stadium, Setia del Tricolore. Don Rumors in the net, Roman Nolik, Silva and Luis Felipe in the defence. Just in front of them is Sandro Tanal in the holding midfield role. Four midfielders, the main one today. Hernandez in his last game for the club, Zaniola, Kessie and Depay. Lex Salt, Uruguay, and just in front of that line, with Zlatan Ibrahimovic on his own, up top. Let's spoil out to kick off at their home ground. Is it foul made there? It's uh, by Theo Hernandez, maybe? Couldn't really tell. Free kick coming in. Looking towards the back post. Oh, G. Francesco has a shot saved by Dan Rumor itself for a corner ball. Berardi. Oh, oh no, 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 no! It's Juracic with the goal. You can see it coming a mile off. Milan already down. Depay. Ibra looking towards Lexal. Oh, couldn't quite release him. Hernandez, though, he's been released a bit. I see a ball. I see a ball. Come on, Memphis Depay! Me Memphis, buddy. Memphis! Memphis! Oh, that should have been in. It's Lexal. Knock it past the man. Please do something, lads. Play it across to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. It's got to be a goal. It's one all. Jesus. That was far nervier than it should have been. We're one all now. Zlatan with his 15th goal in the league. He's on fire. Five goals in this episode already. Can Memphis put Milan ahead with this free kick? Just before half time. Whips the ball in. Looking for. Oh, sorry! Oh, that deserved a goal for the effort. But the ball's to try that. Bloody hell, lad. It's half time. And Zaniolo with an overhead kick nearly won his, um, well, that half, I suppose, not the game. Depay, found on the wing straight away. Can we find Zlatan Ibrahimovic to get this second goal straight away? Bang on, 16th goal in the league. Bish, bash, bosh, that's what you need. I'm honestly stunned at my own brilliance there. Just <laughs> straight from kickoff. Find Memphis, ping it to Zlatan. We're 2 1 up. Found Diego Lexal. Can he play a ball in here? He can't. Can he find Zlatan? He can! Zlatan's header, not very good. I suppose to head him down. Make it difficult with the keeper, but not like that. Again, headed down by Milan. We have been more than dominant this half. What's going on? Kessier looking towards Zlatan. They've seen it coming this time. Zaniola on the edge of the box. He shoots. Oh, what a goal! What a finish! From Zaniola, I think he's deed. But he's done it. He's absolutely done him in. I'm not sure how he managed that take a deflection. What happened with that? Oh, it deflected off the player's arm. That changed its course. Yeah. Helped it go in. Oh, I think given No, you can't give that to Paul Lirola as an own goal. That's disgusting behaviour. I think it might have been off target, so I'm I'm not sure if that's a determining factor if we give it to a player as their goal, but I would understand why they'd give that as an own goal. But to me, that's Zaniolo's goal. It looked phenomenal. The dip on it was tremendous, but we're 3-1 up, and I can't complain. We've been the dominant team in this for, in the second half, even. Rodriguez, hopefully... Oh, no, it's been taken past him by Berardi. Luckily, we've got a goal cushion, but I don't want to concede another. Yeah, oh, ball roll. Taking it back. Interesting bit of play there. Paul Lerler nods it in again. Look at Sally. Berardi, it's his goal. Babacop. Well done, John Aroma. End of the game. At the start of the game, I genuinely thought we were going to lose something like 2 or 3-0. But 3-1, victory, much needed, and that puts us up into at least third place. Doesn't that look lovely? Milan in third place after about half the season has been played. One game of half the season has been played. Oh, you hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. So, how much money did we get for that? Because I think they paid 40 million, so we should have about 35 in his bank account. Hello. That's a decent amount of money, you know. Right, we're at the start of January. Let's make a few transfers. Obviously, we've just lost Theo. So, I think it's time for a bit of revenge, because I found a pre-contract signing straight back to PSG. If I'm going to be able to get a left back off them on a pre-contract signing, because they've just taken one off me, I'll absolutely do that. Welcome to the club in six months, Juan Bernat. This is a move completely inspired by just complete spite. No, he's happy with that. 70k for Juan Bernat. Um, I'm going to get one more pre-contract signing. We're going to be signing a centre defensive midfielder from a 
Russian team, and the player himself is Russian, Roman Zobnin. This isn't a movie out of revenge. This is a move that I think will do well for it. He's 81 rated. That stamina at 90 is what really drew me to him more than anyone else. He's got some good passing. He's got a decent dribbling. Like, he should be able to put a bunch of balls in for us that should do well. And in the, in the Tonali role, I think he'll thrive for us. 10 weeks wages as your bonus. Shake your hand. My hand. Zobnin is signed for us. But obviously, these two, they aren't going to be here right away. So if we look down this team, in centre-back... Thiago Silva's going to start dropping off. Luis Felipe plays all right, but when he plays badly, who do replace him? Because Roman Noll is there. I don't trust Caldara. I don't think he's good enough. He can come on, but when we rotate the squad, and we need two of the defenders out. We're going to have to play players like Leo Duarte. I know we brought him back off loan recently, but I think we need another centre-back that I can trust and keep in rotation of the squad. And the player I've decided to get is Gianluca Mancini. He's six foot three, so he's quite tall. He's an Italian player, which I like to sign. His reactions are quite good, which is something I always complain about in my defenders. He's quite aware, he's good at heading. I think he might be a good player to bring into the squad. 26.8, they're saying. Let's say 26. I'm willing to pay for this player, because he's going to be a player that's going to be with us for a while. And even if we do sign him, he's going to increase in value. Very good. He signed. We're all done dusted there. Nice. I think what I might try and do is upgrade Marco Giordano to a better scout using the money. Uh, when he comes back. So, youth. So, on his last time out, Marco Giordano's got nothing for us. Vaz has found another player that doesn't have shoulders. Uh, he's also found Thomas Mallet, who's probably not any good, but we'll sign him up in case he's above that, you know, that decent player threshold. The last scout, the other Giordano, Francesco. He's got two very interesting players for me. Unfortunately, one's a goalkeeper, but the other one isn't. So this guy, the goalkeeper, has a potential of 69 to 96. Very good look in there. 6 foot 2, goalkeeper, Slovakian. Sign him up. That's Domen Zagar. And the more interesting player to me right now is like a defensive player, potentially, potentially a right back, maybe. Maybe a centre back. 6 foot 1, Viljana Golob. Potential of 69 to 96. We can't check if those players are any good yet because it's a match day. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to sack Marco Giordano. It's only a slight improvement, but it's another another star at this level can give a lot. We're going to give it 3.6 million to Roberto Aguado. Bring him in and send him straight back out to Italy. Well, not back out. Send the scout in this slot out to Italy for nine months. Hopefully we get a few better players coming back from Italy now, because he's at the level of Francesco Giordano. Welcome today to the San Siro for this important Serie A match. It's AC Milan versus Roma. Yeah, league is decided on head-to-heads primarily, rather than goal difference. This is an even more important game. Milan and Roma are next to each other in the table. A win for Roma here could devastate Milan's season. Milan today, generally to Don Roma in the net, across the back three, Roma Nali, Silva and Luis Felipe. Tom on the centre of midfield role, with QQA, at Zaniolo, Kessie and Depay across the main midfield. Lex out, seen just behind the main striker today, who is Zalata Ibrahimovic. Roma, Lopez in the net. Four across the back. Jesus, Vida, Kempf and Florenzi. Two on midfielders, Crisante and Diawara. Three more attacking midfielders are Pellegrini, Spinozola and Tello. And the main man up top today is Edin Dzeko. Where's Chris Smalling and Adam Lallana? Where's your two main... They're not playing the two main men. We've got a win here. Played through to Memphis Depay on the right wing. He's free. He's got some space. Can he find a ball in here? Crosses it into Zlatan Ibrahimovic. It should have been in. Paul Lopez... The ball was straight at him, but he makes the save anyway. Kukurela to Diego Lexal. Plays it down the wing to Mark Kukurela. Crosses it on his left foot to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Roma are not dealing with crosses today, and Milan are 1-0 up inside the first 20. Cross beautiful. We need to stop them crosses coming in, because we've been pretty deadlipped now from the crossing positions. Zlatan rises. Maybe Paul Lopez should have been better and been more prepared. In the end, it's an easy nod in for Zlatan. And he's a frog. Roma not very good in the midfield either. They're passing, looking quite suspect. That one was decent, but it's offside. Of the top sort of 7-8 teams in Italy, Roma are by far the easiest up to now that I've played. I think we have to beat them quite comfortably every time I play them. And Inter Milan are by far the hardest. To get that ball, but... Oh, no, it's gone over the top. Oh, dear me. Dzeko. Line in trouble. They've got men back now. Romano tackles. Well done, Roma. Alessio's playing well as well. 
Go on, Mark Cucurella. Get a run on. Get a sprint on. You've already got an assist. Can you do something with it this time? Plays in. Kessie. No, it's Lexal. Even I don't know who I'm talking about. Lexal plays it across to Zanio. He's missed. He's missed. The lad's missed. How has he missed? He was off balance. Should have been in better position, though. That's all I can say. If, if you weren't in the right position, you knew where we were going to be aiming. You know how we play. Milan should be two or three up. We're only one up and it worries me because despite the fact that Rome has not looked much like scoring, in this game anything can change in a blink of an eye. Not a down by Luis Felipe. Kessier gets there. Memphis up to Zlatan, tries to turn his man but Vina's strong enough. Tonali and Kessier played out to Memphis. Is he onside? I think he was. Played into Zlatan. No, it's Lex out on the floor. He's ended up receiving it. Lex out again. Oh, Vina's challenge. If Lex out tried to knock that past the man, maybe... Going 1 0 up. It should be more. It really should be. We've been by far on top. And I think Roma are absolutely flattered by this uh, result at half time. Pass it to Zlatan earlier. You've seen Saniolo. Oh, Saniolo. You've missed two chances now. Maybe we should have taken a touch there. But another chance goes begging. Defrel got past the man. And we've only got Silva to mark these few players. It was not onside. He's onside on the left. Ball comes in. Oh, dear me. It's an equaliser. We should not be 1-0 in this game. We should be 3-0 up. I can only blame myself for how we've been dealing with a, a... Not even very good Roma attack in the second half. That was a good ball and a, a good finish though. You have to give him that. But we've been pretty pathetic in this, uh, in this half. We've been essentially a bit complacent, the players. I still believe we can push on and get this win. If we don't, I'll be very disappointed. Mancini, Edward and Rebic coming on. Romanoli, who's just got the yellow right there, is coming off. That's the main reason, to be honest. Um, swapping the wings of the wingers and putting Rebic on the right side instead of Cucurella. So Memphis is now cutting in on his right foot. And Odson Edward's come on for Diego Lexal. Lexal's not been that good in the second half. He's been not physically the one I wanted him to be. Right. The rumour gets that away. Anti Rebic now. That's not good. Edward, play it up. Come on, come on. No, lads, 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 the passing is bad. Oh, tonight. <coughs> Can we please? Keep a ball. Oh my god, it's back to Kessier. Edward, what is wrong with us? What is this passing, man? Let's play ball through to Edward. Ibra loses it. Vidas. It's when these defences are so aggressive, I struggle. Like, I know I can pass around them and run around them if I do stuff right, but I struggle. I don't know when they're going to be aggressive, when I'm just going to when I'm going to turn around them or when I'm going to turn into them. Get it long. Thiago Silva ruins my day. Gets his big bonce in the way. And now we're on the defensive again because Thiago Silva is crap. Spinners out. Come on, please have this ball. Lads, where's the pressing that I know you're supposed to be doing? Oh, dear me. Good to have missed that. Otherwise, I would be crying. Hoof this long. We've only got one opportunity now. It's needed to be a good result. We've not got it. Okay. No! Ref! When it's the other team, you play six minutes out of three. Ugh. That's a very, very frustrating result because we were by far the better team. Second half, it was more even, but and despite the short stats, we, we were the better team. We were dominant in that first half and we were on level two in the second. Oh, of course, they played each other. Forgot about this. Napoli beat Juve 2-0. Putting Napoli ahead of on top of the league table. Despite the bad result against Roma. It would have been a draw, but it should have been more. With three points off the top of the table. And don't get me wrong, it's going to be a difficult month. A lot of the games, individually, relatively easy. But we've got the cup to worry about. We've got another Inter Milan game to worry about. And all the games are quite packed together. Lord of Duarte, I'm going to send him out this time and keep him out. I'm sending him to Roma, which is not the club I'd like to send him to, but honestly, take him from more books for now. So we've obviously got a game in hand, but we've dropped down to fifth place. However, some results have really gone in our favour there. Very much so. Torino lost a game against Inter Milan. Very good news. Lazio lost a game against Fiorentina. Very good news. Napoli drew with Atalanta. Very good news. If we win against Empoli, which we absolutely should be, right, we will go up to second place. 
uncontested second place because we have won the head-to-head versus Juventus. If we win against a team that's all the way down, 15th in the table with only 14 points this season, they've lost 12 games, we go second. We cannot screw this up. Welcome to this match at the Carlo Castellani Stadium here in Empoli. Visitors from the north, Donnarumma plays in the net. Across the back three are Roman Nolly, Silva and Luis Felipe. The holding midfielder is Sandro Tonali. Across the midfield, QQL, Zaniolo, Kessier and Depay on the right. With Lex Alcius in front of the midfield line and Ibrahimovic on his own up top. Empoli to kick off. You can hear some thunder in the background. That's just started right now and I'm very sorry. Empoli now looking very dangerous. Lots of men forwards. Where's our entire midfield gone? We had time to get back there. Fia Mosey on the right. Silver meets him. The cross comes in. It's a strange cross. And you're joking me. What has even gone on there? I can't believe what, what has even happened there. A weird, bad cross. None of my players could get close to it because we're bad. And he's belted it first time on his left peg. Stunning goal, but the cross wasn't very good. I don't know how it got that far. Oh, headed down by Tonali. Memphis plays into Diego Lexalt. Trying to find Zlatan. He's in the box in a dangerous area. Takes it onto his right foot. He shoots, he scores. It's one all. Good finish from Zlatan. He did well to get out there. And play kick off. We... I've tried to close the window now so the thunder shouldn't be as loud, but... <laughs> uh, oh dear me. There's a man running. Mark, luckily Mark Cucurella is marking him. Fia Moses on the ball. Can Mark Cucurella get there and block the cross in? Cross comes into the edge of the box. Miss Felipe heads down. Lex out now. Oh my god, that was so loud. Uh, I've lost the ball because there was thunder. <laughs> I'm blaming on that. Ferreira. Oh, takes it back. Oh, Don Rumor forced to make a save. Sonali as well. Memphis. To Sandro. Niklo Zaniola. Cucurela. Plays in. Lexal. Can he find Zlatan? Was he onside? I'm not sure. He shoots and he scores. I think he was onside. Two goals for Zlatan this game. It's 2 1. Zlatan's 19th goal in the league. He is. Kicking on, isn't he? Played it up to Lexan. Lexan tries to lay it off to Zlatan, but it's intercepted quite easily. Could have put Zlatan through for his hat trick. It went through, but it's half time, says the referee. I want to get more goals here. I'm not going to settle for 2 1 because, as seen with their first goal, they can punish you out of nowhere. Luis Felipe plays out to Memphis Depay. He's going to have to cut back a thing. Oh, he's done well there. Gets inside. Keeps it somehow. It's Zlatan that turns on that. Oh, I let it run too far. I should have let him. Receive it to feet rather than dummy in that. Ooh, Ferreira not found. Don Rumor, please get on there. Don Rumor, no, no, somebody! Don Rumor's just about there. I didn't want him to kick that out, but I'm fine with it going. Without looking for Zlatan, takes it past his man. Not going to be fast enough to get past anybody though. Zaniolo binds Mark Kukulera on the left. Can we get a ball in here? It's put into the back post. Zlatan Ibrahimovic should have been three, but Lex Alp does the goal. He does the goal. That's the words that came out of my mouth. Lexal does a goal. <laughs> three up, three one. Well, Ibra turns on it. He's through. He's through. This could be four. Takes out his right peg. Brignoli saves. It wasn't a great shot by his last time. Ibrahimovic. He's made a bit of a breakthrough though. Gustafsson on the edge of the box. It's Richie. Don't know how that ball's got across, but Gustafsson shoots and misses. It's high and wide. Out wide to Odson Edouard. Can Odson Edouard do something? No, that's. Bro. Y you know. You know you're a striker, right, fella? <laughs> Jesus, that's bad. Played it out to the wing. Cut in ball. Cortez. Donnarumma just about palms it away. In his usual style of not being able to catch. Ibra. Wrong ball there. Oh. Ibra. Oh, what? What's going on? <laughs> that's not what I meant. It's fine. If that had happened at a, you know, an important point of the matter, I'd have been annoyed, but that's fine. It's ended up being 3-1 to Milan at the end. I don't really care about the uh, Sassuolo match. I'm, I care more about what's going on in the Serie A. Predictably, 
Um, Juve won. But if we look at that table, it's looking quite nice now. Everton again won't Leo to our say. <laughs> So through to the round of 16 are Roma, Udinese, Milan, Napoli, Fiorentina, Torino, Lecce, and Lazio. So Inter are out. They're not just out left time. Maybe we've got a chance of winning the Coppa Italia. The one team that can defeat us is gone. Duarte has been loaned out. And oh god, there's been some games rescheduled. What's that mean? If we look at the games yesterday, another big thing has happened. Napoli lost to Torino. If we win here, we go to second place. And if Juve somehow lose against Sassuolo, that's probably not going to happen. But if Juve somehow lose against Sassuolo, and we somehow beat Inter, we would be top of the table. The coming into this game versus Inter Milan, Zlatan is four goals clear at the top of the top scorer list. At 19, to Ronaldo's 15. Now Ibra, I don't think has scored against Inter Milan yet. We aren't very good against Inter Milan. They tend to tear it apart with some fast movement, and up the other end, Zlatan tends to be ineffective. Today needs to be the day we crack them. There's no two ways about it. Today needs to be the day that we crack into Milan. This is perhaps the biggest game we've had in this whole series so far. That's not an exaggeration, I don't think. Like, if we win this, we will go... Until Juve win their game, obviously, top of the table. If possible, dream scenario will be winning by about three goals, because I think they beat us by about that as well. So getting our goal difference with them the same in terms of head-to-heads would be wonderful, but three points would be incredible. Welcome to this game at the San Siro. AC Milan are technically away at Inter today in the home stadium. A win here could kick Milan's season, AC's season, into another gear and uh, put them into contention for winning the title. A loss here could drop Milan's season back into the Europa League spots. And Danovic is in the net for Inter today in the 3-1-4-2. 
De Vrij, Godin and Renocci in the back three. Just in front of them is Senzik. Four main midfielders today are Perisic, Brozovic, Eriksen and Politano. And the two strikers are Icardi and Lukaku. Jesus, that's a scary team. We'll end today line up in their 3-6-1 with Donnarumma in the net. Rubble Nolly, Silva and Luis Felipe in the defence. With Sandro Tonali in the defensive midfield role. Cucurella, Zaniolo, Kessier and Depay fill out in the midfield. With Licks out just in front of them. And Ibrahimovic, the lone man up top. We need him to be getting a goal. We need him to break his duck against Inter. And play well today. It's so, so important that Zlatan has a good game. That is the difference between a win, a draw and a loss. How Zlatan plays. Inter's ball at the start of the game. Early part of this game, the game is when we tend to be most nervy against these. We need to just get his head into the game. Know how they're playing. Keep the ball in this early stage and we should be alright to play our way. Luis Felipe. Might lose it here. Lads. It's a good job we won that foul because there's no support. There's no one dropping back. Everyone just disappeared into their half. Plays across to Zlatan. He's lost the ball but the referee's called back that advantage for the foul. Dips it over the wall. Oh, Handanovic saves quite easily in the end. It's nice to get a shot on target in the early stages of this game in the first 10 minutes. Keep the pressure on, lads. Keep them worried. Go out for a throw in. They're not playing particularly well in the early stages, but they could flip that switch and destroy us at any time. We need to be careful. Kessier. Played up to Ibra. Zaniolo. Ibra's in. Ibra's in. Ibra scored. Oh, Ibra scored. It's 1 0 up, and Ibra's got it. Inter Milan. Losing at home to AC. Oh, what a day. Zaniolo lays it off to him. And Zanovic comes out, but he can't close the angle enough to beat Zlatan. <sighs> right. Let's press on. We can't let them get back the advantage here. We can't let them play their game. We've got to keep them out of this. Lexalt finds Ibra. Lexalt's through. The layoff from Ibra. Plays it across to the centre. It's Ibra again. Oh, it could have been his second goal of the game. Hits the post. Goes back into play. My Inter on the right, on the left wing now. I'm getting confused. There's so many rights and lefts and two types of Milan's going on. De Vrij on their left. Memphis intercepts. Plays into Lexalt. That's not the ball's intending there. Tonali. Zaniolo. Lexalt. There's a ball coming in to Mark Cucurella here. Plays. Oh! 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 Zaniolo! Oh! Handanovic saves! Oh. Back to Eriksen. Bad ball to Kessier. It ends up with Kessier even. Lexalt. Ibra. Lexalt's in, he's in, he shoots, he scores, it's two, it's two. The two heroes so far of this season are Lexalt and Ibrahimovic with the two goals. I can't believe we're tuning up with these. We can't let this slip, we cannot let this slip. I'm going to be so distraught if we let this slip. These have been playing really badly, but I know how quickly it can change. The Rosaneri are ahead at Inter Milan. To be honest, I need a four goal cushion against these to feel comfortable. Ibra. Looking for Memphis Depay. Cuts it in. Kessier's on the edge of the box. Kessier shoots! Doesn't go very far as it's deflected. Coming back from Malone. Throw in here. Sandro Tonali. Looking for Ibrahimovic. He's in the box. Can he get another one? De Vrij does well. Look for him. Look for him. Look for him. It's Ibra. Tonali's ended up taking a weird shot there and not really ended up as well likes. It's gone for another Malone throw. Not long left in this half now. Let's just throw it forward for Zlatan. Can we do something with it in the last few seconds here? Lex out. Looking for Mark Kikurela. Not found it. Mark Kikurela and it's half time. 2-0 to AC Milan. I can't believe I'm saying that. Knocks it back. No, it's with Ericsson. He's on the right. Cross comes in. Donna, please. Donna Rumor. Oh my God. You're going to give me a heart attack. Kessier plays out to Zaniero. We've got very lucky there with Donnarumma's antics. Ibra, out to Mark Cucurella. Oh, the man with the pace, the man with the pace, the man with the pace. Take it into the box. Play it to Lexal. Oh, oh, it's gone in! It's gone in! It's gone in! It's three! I'm not sure if Lexal's going to be crazy with that. It was awesome, Milan plays to get a touch on it. I'm not sure how that's been bundled in. Must be given to De Vrij as an own goal, I'd guess, but... 
It was Lexalt's uh, shot that gave it the power to go over the line. It's defender for own goal, and it's 3 0. It's still not over. They can still murder it with one look. This I'm, I'm feeling on top of the world right now, but I need to make sure I'm grounded and I know that they can murder me at any time. <laughs> We've sort of denied them many shooting opportunities. Many at all. But they can turn around and destroy us. And I know that. On to Kessier. Ibra. Lexalt. Zaniolo. Back to Ibra. Into Lexalt. Zaniolo even. I forget which player's which. But it's 4-0. <laughs> You're joking me. It's 4-0 <laughs> against Inter Milan. What has happened today? Niklo Zaniolo scores one. It's fifth goal in the league. He scores, more, he scores more than you think. That's not a lot of goals, really. But he scores more than you think. I don't think he really scores many, but five goals is more than I remember him scoring. For the first time I'm feeling confident, which is dangerous. I don't think they're going to score four goals in the last ten minutes, but it'd be bloody lovely to get a nice goal difference against these, and uh, to keep a clean sheet against these. Runs it back, Perisic! Block made. Tenali takes his time making that clearance, and it's not a very good one. Eriksson. Kessier gets a foot in. Well done, lad. He's played very well today. Memphis to Pie. Out on the right. Right, so knock it past Delaney. Oh my god, he's done him. He's absolutely done him there. I think that might have been offside. Lex out. Can't get the shot in anyway. Can't swing his foot at it first time for some reason. We're into added time. Only three minutes added here. I'm going to say only three minutes. It's probably more than I'd expect from this game. There's not been too many stoppages. Ball played to Perisic. Luis Felipe does very well. The defence has been on fire today. Luis Felipe plays out. Looking to get it out. Lukaku challenges midfield by Tenali. He's coming up to the end of the game. Three minutes added have been played. And that's it. Milan win 4-0 at Inter Milan. Oh, what a day. 4-0. 4-0. As we expected, um, Juve did win their game. Juve won. Um, so we're three points behind the leaders. They won 4-0 as well, actually. Yeah, we're three points behind the leaders. Uh, Juve. But we're in second place. We're solidly in second place. I'm stunned. I'm honestly stunned at that. So last three games this episode, we've got a league match against Parma, then a bit a three-day break uh, until the Fiorentina game, then a three-day break into the Sampdoria game. So what we're going to be doing is going to be putting out the most uh, strength squad, the, the best squad we've got for the Parma game, uh, and then put another weak squad out for the Fiorentina game. There's a high chance we'll go out for that. We'll... we'll, we'll uh, be knocked out of the cup competition, the Coppa Italia. But, it's lower on the importance. If we get through that, absolutely fantastic. But against uh, Sassuolo, the second uh, string players played really well. So I've got faith in them, that they'll do well against Fiorentina, but now we're going to focus on Parma and put the strong squad out, because you never know what could happen. We could end up top of the table if we keep getting these victories and keep ticking over. Welcome today to the Ennio Tardini Stadium in Parma. And the visitors, Milan, with Donnarumma in the net. Across the back three, Roman Nolly, Silva and Luis Felipe. The old midfielder is Sandro Tonali. Across the midfield four, Cucurella, Zaniolo, Kessier and Depay. With Lexalt just in front of them. And the main striker, up on his own, it's Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Lexalt steps over it with a dummy, passes it through to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Not sure how Lexalt got that pass through. Now Palmer on the counter-attack here with Baraye on the right wing. Looking for a cross in here, it takes it all the way to the line. Gives up Romanoli more than an opportunity to dive in and get a slide tackle in there. Gagliolo. Back to Javinho again. To stop saying his name in different ways every time. Oh, it's played through there. Gonzalez, I think he was onside. Don Rubin does well to make the save with his foot. But we're still in danger. Kessier, good challenge. Hard, but it was fair. Still in danger. Brugman in the box. Goes to the line. Got out wide. Crossed in. Depay heads it away. It's still not free, though. Tenali gets it down. Lexalt loses it. Gonzalez on the edge of the box for Palmer. Oh dear, they're still in. Kessier makes an interception. I think that might be. Allow well, Milan to take a bit of a breath here. Found Kessier. Memphis making a bit of a run. Plays it around. And out. Memphis has got it on the right wing. It crosses it into Lexalt. Oh, it's in! Was that a chest or a header? It's gone in from Lexalt either way. It's going to be half time. 1 0 to Milan. It's gnarly. Sees Mark Cucurella's run. Is that far enough ahead of him to get the space just about? Only just. Could have been knocked back earlier, maybe. Takes it to the line, knocks it back, very hopefully it's out for a corner. Could have done more with that again. Rabic, Silva and Paqueta coming on for Cucurella, Zaniolo and Lexel. 
Brugman plays in at Chancellor. Good ball there. To block this passing lane, otherwise we're in trouble. Romanoli dives in. And puts it out for a corner. He did well there, Romanoli did. Brugman in the centre now. Cucco, Brugman, back to Cucco. Javinho on the edge of the box, played himself in. It's Gonzalez was offside. Up to Silva, tries to turn on it. He's in the box. If he'd gone down, that might have been a penalty. He's still got the ball. Keeper came out, couldn't get there. Last hand nods it in. He has got a goal. He has got a goal, and it's 2 0 to Milan, and that puts the game to bed. And he's a frog, of course he's a frog. We're on 21 goals? 21 goals. Oh, I'm good, mate. Less than a minute to play of added time. I think Milan are happy to just coast now. I would like a cream clean sheet, so don't slack, lads. Rebic heads that out. Edge of the box. Brugman heads it back in. And Nani. Well, on, have it. Get rid of it. Must be the end. There it is. 2-0 to Milan. Unsurprisingly, we're still second, but I think someone's dropped some points there. Have a look. No, it's Rubber's not played yet. That's it. Okay. Torino have dropped back, though. They lost a game. It's starting to be a little bit of a breakaway pack. We've got Lazio Roma today, which hopefully one of them will drop back a bit. So there's less in this chasing pack. We can concentrate on less teams. What happened in that round of fixtures just then? So Inter absolutely smashed Benevento, as you'd probably expect. But Lazio and Roma drew, which is sort of good news that the chasing pack only got two points rather than one of them getting three points. The team that I've so rudely called the B team or <laughs> going out for the Fiorentina game. As I say, this one's a bit of an exhibition for me. Get um, these secondary um, squad players a bit of a run out. So what's happened in the matches that have been played in the other... Aha! Right. So at Roma 1, Napoli lost to Cagliari. I've been saying that Cagliari are a force to be reckoned with. That they aren't nothing, that they aren't pushovers. Cagliari beat Napoli. And they did it against another team a few matches ago. I'm very sure of that. Yeah, they beat Torino as well. Cagliari do not... Do not knock Cagliari. They're a decent team. Inter and Juve drew, which is great news for us. Because if we win now... We will go up to 52 points right behind Juve. Right behind them. So we need a win against Sampdoria. Again, who's not particularly an easy team. They have they're 11th in the table. Got like equal wins, draws and losses there. Oh, that sort of team. Mid-table. This is another big... And they're all big games, I know. But when your opponents slip up in the league, it's so important for us to be kicking on and making sure we're getting these wins to capitalise on it. This is a big game. Welcome to this home game at the San Siro for AC Milan. Milan today in the 3 6 1 with a Donnarumma in the net. Roman Nolli, Silva, and Luis Felipe in three defensive roles with Tonali in the holding midfield role. Kukurela, Zaniolo, Kessie, and Depay in the midfield with Lexel in the attacking midfield role. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the man in form, the man who's a top goal scorer in the league, crack on and hopefully get some early goals here. Whip a ball in from Nicolo Zaniola. Looking for Zlatan. The keeper comes out. Adero pours it away. And finally played to pass this to. Roman Nolly. Back to Silva. Here's Tonali. Zaniolo. Back into Tonali from the edge of the box. Takes a shot. Oh my god. What a goal from Sandro Tonali. It's one of them where you see a half chance. You see an opportunity from the edge of the box. 
and you decide just to swing your foot it. Laid off to him just nicely. Hits it first time on his right foot on the edge of the box. And the layoff from Nicolo Zaniolo. Keeper's a bit blind to it. Outside of the boot. Curls in. Beautiful. Played down now to Gabbiadini. Romanoli makes a challenge but doesn't quite win the ball. Quagrielli from the edge. Thiago Silva blocks it. Donnery was forced to make a save though because Sam Doria. Try hard, bless him. Looks out. To knock it past the defensive line. Takes it back. Oh, 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 oh. What's happened there? What's happened there, son? It's in. Zlatan scores a very interesting goal. Um. <laughs> I could watch that a thousand times and not really understand what was going on. But it's gone in. I think that's all that matters. Memphis get running some. Played long. Can it find Memphis? If it does, that is a wonderful ball. I think it has. Yes, he's got it. Plays it across the box to Nicolo Zaniolo. And it's three. Oh, that was ours. I, didn't, I think it was, but fair enough. I don't want to tie the players out. Um, so, right, stick it into defensive the second half. If we get more goals, good. But since goal difference is less important than I thought it was, it's head-to-heads that matter. I don't think Sampdoria are going to be a problem for us in head-to-heads. Thiago Silva gets it back. Although he muscles straight back in. He's got the ball again. Zlatan. Oh, he's on a run here. He's on a run. Still got it. Still got it. Plays into Nicolo Zaniolo. Plays it across to Zlatan. Can Zlatan score? He probably should have done, but there's no power in the shot on Adair and knocks it wide. Zaniolo. Finds Ibra. <laughs> Manages to just about keep it somehow. Plays in Diego Lexalt. Lexalt scores and it's four. Not having a field day. I thought this was going to be a struggle at the start. It felt like it might be a struggle, but we've done alright. Ibra. Nicolo Zaniolo. Ibra's got about six men around him, but it's passed to him. He's played in Lexalt. I think this is Lexalt on his hat trick here. Flicks it in. As a go. It's another goal. It's 5 0. Oh, I love this team at times. This team, when it's working to full fruition and just feel so good. Cuts it back on his left peg. Odero gets a hand to it. Odero does get a hand to it. But it's not enough to stop Lexel. And I think that's his third. And he'll be going on with a match ball today. It's Zaniolo got one. Ibra got one. He's got three. Number right. Oh, Tonali got one. That was meant to be to Lexel. Kukurela plays it in. Looking towards Zlatan. Zlatan scored. It's six. It is six. We're on fire, man. We're absolutely destroying Sampdoria. I'm not even trying to score at this point. It's Zlatan's 23rd goal in the league. Ibra finds Lex out. Can he get another one? Muscled out. Oh, he's back in. He's had a shot. Nearly. Off the post. Lex Sell. What a player. Into Zlatan from the header. <laughs> Way over with that header. Bit of a bullet. This is going to be the end of it. Yep. That's 6-0 at full time. End of the game. Milan absolutely crushed their opposition. Lexal got two, Ibra got two, Zaniolo got one, Tinali got one. In terms of assists, Zaniolo only got one. I don't know why he got such a high rating. He played alright, but I don't think he played 9.5 level. So at the end of this episode, Milan are in second place, one point behind Juve. We are three points clear of Real Madrid in third place. Of where we need to be for this season, we need to be in fourth place. So being clear of fifth place is important. Of fifth place, we are clear by seven points. We are high and flying, and we've got a good goal difference now, which if it comes down to that is very good. We need to be making sure we're keeping clean sheets and scoring lots of goals. Scoring enough to be the top goal scoring team in the league. Just to keep those goals against down. We're out of the Copa Italia, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter because the league is the most important thing. The league, and I would like to do well in the Europa League. I don't think I've shown the hooks now, but Athletic Club is who we've been drawing into. We've beaten them before in the first preseason competition. And I'm going to be trying to put out some decent sides for that. But the league is always going to be my focus. So for this game, Napoli's got to be my focus. I can't focus on Classic because we'll do that. Zlatan is on top of the scoring charts. Four ahead of Ronaldo. Milan as a club. We are just in behind the Juve, nibbling at their heels. This has been Smoke Up Can I Are with FIFA 20. AC Milan, beating the best. Thank you for watching. And ta -ra.